Hello everybody and welcome to another matplotlib tutorial in our little matplotlib mini series for Python 3. Where we left off we were covering legends and grids and then still kind of a continuation of our styles. Now what I want to do is go ahead and uh, begin to cover different charting. So right now so far we've only covered like line charts uh, but there's actually uh, quite a few other things that we can do with matplotlib. We can plot even so much as on a map but we can do pie charts and we can do uh, scatter plots and bar charts and all this stuff. So I'd like to show you guys scatter scatter plots and bar charts. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. So we have X and Y. We'll keep those. Um, I don't want to change the grid anymore. Let's go. Actually, I'll show you first without style, and then we'll add in style. Um, we'll leave all the title, and we can leave the legend. Actually, let's get rid of the legend. We don't need the legend anymore. <laughs> uh, let me do this. Okay. So instead of plt.plot, we can use plt.scatter uh, for one. So we can do scatter and then come down here and do scatter. And we're going to get rid of line width. We don't really care about that anymore here. Label will keep and the colors of scatter will keep. In fact, actually, let's get, uh, we're, we're done doing uh, the colors now. So we'll, I'll just show you colors with uh, styles. Okay, so scatter. So let's go ahead and save and run that. And here we get our scatter plot. And in fact, I kind of want to go back and show you guys uh, the colors. So anyway, because <laughs> it kind of matters with scatter plots, and it actually matters with bar charts too. Um, so these are two different data sets. So usually people want to like color their data sets very specifically. So let's turn on uh, styles real quick though. And we can see that even styles didn't give us the, the color. Um, so we'll close out of this. Um, and actually, so what we're going to do here is uh, we don't need the label anymore either because we're not uh, doing a legend. But we can, um, we might not be able to get away with this. We'll see if we get away with cyan and green, let's say. Let's see if that works. We might have to specify color. Yeah. Um, So what we'll want to do here is actually probably color equals C and color equals G. There we go. Um, so now you can see we've chosen probably pretty poor colors for any sort of actual visualization. But just so you can see, one data set is colored cyan, the other data set is green. So we can actually see you know, that there's a different data set here. So that's colors um, and scatters. So as you can see, probably, you know, the, whatever the third value is to scatter, it's not color because <laughs> it didn't work out for us. Um, so really, I think that's all I wanted to show you with scatter plots, just basically that they exist and that that's how you can uh, call them. Uh, now the next thing I want to show you guys is bar charts. So we can actually change from scatter to bar and just do bar. And really everything can stay the same here, I believe. So we should be able to get away with just bar. Yeah. Okay, so we've kind of, well, we've ran into a, a couple of issues here. First issue is that there's some overlap going on. Um, so we did not make a stacked bar chart. Instead, we're overlapping our bars. So let's go, because oh, we're using the same X and Y. So five, six, seven, eight. Let's change these to like two, four, six, eight. And then one, three, five, seven. Okay, so they're not like right on top of each other now. There we go. Much better. So we've got bar charts. Again, they're different colors because if you didn't specify different colors, they would be the exact same color. It's very silly. I don't know why they do lines, different colors naturally by default, but um, not bars and scatters. It doesn't make any sense, but they don't. So anyway, so those are different colors. But I do want to point out again, let's bring this chart up. Um, reading this chart, let's say you're reading it. I don't know, at least for me, when I look at a bar chart, I want the bars to be centered over the value that they represent because my question here is is this representing five or is it representing six is it representing like 5.3 what are we representing here so close out of this and actually let me bring it one more time and I'm a little curious actually let's get rid of uh, styles I, usually I thought they went all the way to the next value but no they clearly don't interesting anyway so this is the uh, original um, with the outline and everything, beautiful. So you can kind of see that it's erring more on the side of the, the left number, right? So there's a little bit of gap before we get to the next one, but it's still, I'm not a fan of it. So 
uh, a lot of people are going to ask, how do we fix that uh, as far as like getting it centered over the value it represents? Um, and it's actually quite simple. We just use align equals center. And then we do the same thing down here. Otherwise, we're going to get really confused really fast. Align equals center. Save and run that. And now we can see that we've actually aligned our bars over the value that they represent. To me, that just makes the chart way easier to read. So, um, so yeah. Anyway, that's going to conclude this uh, tutorial on plotting um, bar charts and scatter plots. In the next video, probably going to be the last video I cover here on Matplotlib Basics. Uh, we're just going to be reading from a CSV file and plotting from that CSV file. Um, you can use this to plot from text files to, it doesn't have to be a CSV necessarily. Um, so anyway, that's what we're going to be doing uh, in the next video. Again, if there's more customization or more things that you'd like to learn how to plot, Matplotlib also allows you to plot in three dimensions. Um, so you can do 3D scatter plots, 3D bar charts, 3D plane plots, and all of this. Um, I do have tutorials on all of that. You just have to just search on my channel for what you're looking for. Uh, I've got a pretty extensive uh, series on Matplotlib, but I just wanted to cover the basics in this playlist too. Um, so anyway, uh, that's going to conclude this video. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions, and until next time.